Right, it's two weeks before we go and I'm just sorting out all my stuff. It's probably going to take me all morning. It's a nice sunny day. Um, all the tags and everything came this morning. And we should find out where we come in the draw, which Mark's very excited about. He's hoping to come out not last this time, so I'll surely be around later to find out where he's come. Here he is. Right, Amen. I think he lasted an hour and a half after I left the message about the uh, letter coming through. So, here you go then, mate. As you're Have having first it? choice this God. year, you get to open it. It's like my birthday. So let's hope we don't come last this year like we normally do. What's it say? What's it say? Mark, you Mark, you What's he say then? Come Mark on. Mark you pooba. It's a noun, try. Number, number. Hello. It will fit. Right, bye. Drink. Drink? Is there one of those for me? You want one? Cheers, fella. Oh, this must be Dover. Right, that's everything emptied out onto the car, onto the side, waiting for the coach to turn up now. Lovely fish and chips. Lovely. Well, you wouldn't think it was like half 11 at night, would you? And he's filling his face. First day, and it's ten past nine in the morning, and Mark's already into one. So what a great start! What's it feel like, mate? Fish. <laughs> what a result, mate! Yeah. Is that a common? Yeah. I can't believe you've had a fish within an hour of being here, mate. Oh, spot on, mate. That's, that's brilliant angling. Cheers. Considering we came out last in the draw out of 14. And as soon as we got up here, there was fish showing all over us. And I think Mark's got himself a 30 pound common here. If it's not, it's not far off. Right, that's going 35, 10. 35, 10, yep. Minus so, the net. It's about, I think, four pound. Yeah. 35, 10, okay. Look at that. Bar of gold. How are you today, Mr. Carp? Thank you very much. Oh, that's, that's smashing, mate. First fish Beautiful. of the day. You've got to be happy with that. Ever so happy, mate. Beautiful. That's why we come to Dream Lakes for. Caught a multi-rig with a proper job pink pop-up. And that certainly is a proper job, mate. It certainly is. Cool, let's get her back. Well, well, campers. Not five minutes after I've just put mine back after wearing it, Mr. Martin's into his uh, first fish of uh, the 2015 session on Dream Lakes 1. What do you reckon then, mate? Good, bad? How badly do I want these fish to come in? Exactly. First one's also pressure fish. Come, uh, come down the uh, right to the bottom of the arm. I'm in Herbie's hole, and Neil's in deer dip. 
We got here and all the fish were crashing out in front of us, about three quarters of the way out. I say I've just had one, and I just sort my rig out to put back out, and Neil's uh, giving me a shout that he's into one. So uh, we've got all our fingers crossed that he uh, lands it. You beauty! Well done, mate. Fucking yeah! Oh, look, you've got some bone fish in the pump down there. We just weighed it with these waist sling and it was £34 exactly. Um, so we're just going to take some photos. I know it gets battered up by it, which is quite funny. 34 pound common. That's it mate, beautiful. What do you reckon of that then? Spot on mate. Must be happy. Well happy. Both had fish to start with for the first day, which never happens. Lovely. Okay? Nope. Right. Go back now. The way it swims. For another day. Just a smile and a thumbs up there mate. Excellent. Till later. That, that one that's that. I lost it. Oh. Uh, it's going through that fucking number of weed there, look. Yeah. You see it? That's like a really good tip as well. I'm definitely not back, Neddy. You're not? No, because I'm just thinking there's piles of weed out there. I don't really want the line in there. I'm trying to get the lead to come off. I just want it to come out of the weed. Fuck. I knew I was going to do that because the line's going through the weed yeah. and then going that way. Bollocks. Oh, bollocks. I will get my fucking bivvy up in a minute. It's ever so hot today. It's like a blast furnace in this uh, bivvy. It's so hot today, I've had to put an umbrella in my doorway to stop the sun getting in because it's so blimmin' hot. Absolutely boiling still. It's not really much coming out now, it's just too hot, but hopefully tonight we'll have some uh, results. first night well, I did get a bloody good night's sleep which I think I really needed so just sorting out the mix I'm going to be using later on I've got um, 16 mil sticky krill 20 mil good dose of the cap oil and I've got some soluble um, krill as well that I'm going to put in there so I've been chopping them up I've got halves full ones I've been using the crusher to crush the lot up Oh, Sunday morning, let's go and see what Mark's been doing. What's that? I think he had one last night, didn't he? Oh, maybe he's not going to be in his pirate camo today then. Hi, right, mate. Good morning. Did you have any last night? Absolutely nothing, mate, but a good night's sleep, which was most uh, needed actually after yesterday. Long trip, those fish, chaos. Happy chaos though. Um, so it don't usually happen to us to have fish on the first day. No, it doesn't, does it? No, which is quite nice. Nice cup of coffee. Looking forward to the uh, full English in a bit. Yeah, nice. Mm, definitely. What oak bags are you using this year then? This year, uh, oh, the fish oh, he said to me this year he was going to be having one or two hook baits. I don't know if you can see in there. 
It's probably got about 40 tubs of different hook baits and shit in there. I think 40 might be an exaggeration. Oh, then 39. Yeah. All my... So as usual, Mark's well prepared. All my fish have come on uh, proper job pop-ups. Um, but... We've got different flavours. Mm, plum, white ones, so ever so buoyant. Superb for the multi-rig which I've been using. Proper job pop-ups. Uh, using mainline, uh, not mainline, oh god sorry, sticky baits krill for our loose feed, uh, 20 mil, 16 mils. Uh, glugged in, sticky baits, pure krill liquid, nice and sticky. Um, I've just been putting loose feed out last yesterday, but today I'm going to spawn a, spawn a bit out so I can break some up and put little crumbly bits in it. See how we go. See you later people. Well, it's a midday Sunday now and all the hot sun we had yesterday and this morning has now gone and there appears to be a weather front coming in so I think we'll be getting a little bit of rain in a minute but the wind's blowing right up our arm at the moment so hopefully it bodes well for later on today and here comes the rain down the rain and Mark's baiting up. That's a rainbow. Lad, he's got a cup of coffee. Sound. Lovely. Now that's the sound you don't want to hear around. Well, there's a welcome sight, Mark's got the kettle on. Monday morning, we've both had a really good night's sleep again, which is a bit troublesome because it means we've not had another fish. It's completely dead up, our arm of the lake. They're all around the other side. You can hear them all boshing, the alarms are going all night, but it's completely devoid of carp here. So I hit it and it just fucking whoosh, like yay. Right. That's a trailer, mate. I'm not sure I can let you have that. Whatever you like, mate. I saw the fucking rig in there, so... I'm afraid the jury's out on that one, mate. I can see where you're caught up with all the other hook in there. Hook's going... <coughs> right around 38. 38 pounds, mate. Nice. Got to be happy with that, mate. You're not wrong.
And here's the great big gravel works that obviously created the lakes years ago. Looks like one of the baileys has got their rods in. It's a big old bit of water. That was pretty close to his bivvy. Yeah, that would have given you a headache if that had fallen on your head. A little bit of worrying. That was a close shave, fella. Oh, you're not wrong. It's fucking mental here, isn't it? I know, I know. 45 mile an hour gusts tonight. No, look at on. Morning mate. Morning. Well that was eventful wasn't it? I don't it think I've windy. ever ever fished in wind like that last night mate. I, I thought the bloody trees were going to come down. You're not wrong. We've got branches down and still didn't catch any fish though. No. I'd be surprised if anyone did last night really but you never know. I swear they did over in the snags. Morning mate. Morning. Wednesday morning. And another bloody night with no fish. Getting beyond a joke now, isn't it? Uh, well, it's trouble coming out so late in the draw, isn't it? I thought I might go and have a wander around in the snags and have a look at all the jumping fish the other side of the lake. And that's the snags, where all the fish are at the moment. They're giving me a right old show. Last well, Wednesday morning, and once again, there's totally no fish up our arm or just down our leg, even. Bitten to buggery. I put loads of spray on it, hasn't worked. Didn't that? No bites, mate. You must be bad meat, then. That's what it's they say. Just, it's just not happening. They're, they're all up the other side, up the arm. All the swims are taken, and there's, there's no way to move the fish on as it's horseshoe shape. So we just Sitting here doing nothing. Can't, we can't move on to the fish because they're over there, and, and all the lines have all pushed them into the, to the snags, and they're, they're not coming out. We just. I don't think it's our bait. We are just camping at the moment. It's, it's pointless having the rods out because it, it's not going to catch you any fish. Because these sticky baits are fine. You know, we, we wanted to give one a go this, this year because it's like, there's five lakes here, we really must try one, but we won't be going on here again. No. Because <laughs> it's... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not in the snags or on the fish... It's too it's, moody. There's no, there's no other places to catch fish there all together. It's not like a normal lake where they spread out. We've had 30 degrees heat, we've had 40 kilometres an hour wind. 
blowing from all directions and it still hasn't moved them out from there. 40 kilometres? Yeah. It's a bit fucking European, mate, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it said on the old weather forecast, yeah, but mate. but we're English, it's miles per hour. 45, no, miles per 50. hour would be faster, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? 45, 50 miles an hour? No, Gusts. 40, 50 miles, uh, kilometres an hour. Uh, doesn't sound as fast when it's It's like not that. as fast, mate, but when you've got bloody <laughs> trees falling on your head, it feels it's fast. Scary enough, yeah. yeah. There's a lot more weed in here than there was last year in, in one. And three apparently. I'm really struggling to get my lines over the top. I've got weed sort of three rod lengths out in front of me and it's just getting in the lines. So I'm having to have the lines quite tight and over the top. I, mean, I could have them like cat's cradles, it would make any bloody difference. Still not going to catch anything. No. The fish aren't there, they won't fish, buying food, feed. Still, whatever. we're having a, a, a good time, you know. I love going camping anyway, so... <laughs> oh, suits you, Sada, camping. Never mind, it beats being at work. Yeah, it does beat being at work. And Neil did say it beats being at home with his wife as well. Hey! Neil goes at home and beats his wife? <laughs> <laughs> he fucking ought to. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, though, hey? Uh, so, uh, what's your thought? <laughs> that's your thought on one, is it? Yep. Here's my thought on one. Bye. <laughs> I've just seen what he's got on today. He's got the Lucky Volbeat t-shirt. And you know what that means. That means... Big fish. You're not wrong. Hopefully. Right, so here we are up on Lake 3, where we were last year. Uh, this is the swim I was in last year and there seems to be quite a bit of weed in the margin now. And the water level seems to have dropped quite a bit as well. Cool, this is a bit of deja vu mate. Lovely. Does it bring back memories? You caught some fish here last year didn't you mate? Did indeed. The water level's low, look, we were stood down. Yeah. It's about two, two foot low. Yeah, and those fish are out there with my name on them. He's got one. About time, some might say. What do you reckon it is then, fella? It's a catfish. It's a catfish. You're not making excuses already, are you? Which, which rod was that that went off? The middle one. Well, Neil's still having trouble getting the cat out. Apparently, it's gone in the weed. Um, I don't think he can do much with it at the moment. Did you shout me earlier? Yeah. Well, if you shout "kin idiot," yeah, no, because you said, "What's all this fucking noise?" Well, if you shout "Mark," I was, was I? No, you shout "kin idiot." Yeah. When he's talking about him, he's talking about Adam from next door. You have a rod's going up and down. Oh, is that because you're underneath oh, that? that? One. Yeah. Yeah, because it's gone over that line, which was in that fucking wee bed. No, this one on your side here. That one? Yeah. What's it they do in America? What's it called? They use their hand and a glove? Noodling. Noodle. Go and have a noodle. I think the closest she's ever going to get to noodle are the pot noodles, really, viewers. It's out there somewhere in the weed. You see the bubbles come out where it's attacking the weed, mate. It might get rid of that bit of weed for you. Drop it down. Got it in. Sure what was it? Catfish. Yeah, we're getting to hold it up for the camera. Well, why not as we're here? And it's only my second fish. Why not? It is big. 
Catfish Big Wells Wednesday. There you go. Come on, mate. Hopefully, oh. it'll behave itself. Oh, I'm getting up, mate. There she be. Look at that. Beautiful. Smile, mate. Shitting. Hit shitting. <laughs> Fella. Off she goes. Give her a kiss goodbye. There you go. Thanks for that. Oh, on me rocks. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy with that. I think Adam's just about to get himself a PB. Stab me nut. That's isn't it? 30 all day long, that, isn't it? Yeah. Got a Oh Adam, under all this pressure. What do we reckon? 30 okay. 8. Now. Thirty-eight on the nose, that is. On the nose, yeah, I'd right? say so. Oh. Nice, well done mate. Is that would the mats already be? Still zero. Zero. It's a lovely fish. It's got some growing in that as well. Maybe you dropped it. <laughs> dropped his hat. <laughs> I've dropped it from you Drop your hat. I oh, don't never drop my hat. It's Big Fish Thursday. Your thoughts? Oh, okay then. It's not, it's a lovely lake. There's no fish in there. There are, mate. You want to go around the other side and have a look in the snags and don't say there's no fish. There's thousands. Right, all the lines now have been cast over onto the island so that we're going to come back after breakfast go around, bait up, and just put them just off the marginal shelf. I've done the same thing as Mark. I've got two rods going right over to the island, waiting to be baited up when we get back. My balance baits I'm gonna be using today, various different things. I've been using the signature pop-ups, uh, IB wafters, Real white ones that have been glugged in the uh, goo. Uh, spicy cream balance wafters. Uh, some more I've been I've got coconut oil on them. So that's what I'll be using today. It's all getting a bit desperate now, but I'm trying lots of different things and uh, see what happens on Big Fish Thursday. You know, you spent more time in here than you have behind your rods. You know that, don't you? Fish behind my rods, that's yeah. why. You come all this way for holiday just to sit in the bloody lodge all day looking at your football party. <laughs> and listen to Mercy shit jokes. Yeah. The boys over there doing the breakfast for tonight. Now, yeah, Mark, I bet there's more fish down that hole than there is in your swim. No. <laughs> Plenty of fish out there. Well, we know they're out there. You in? Yeah. You're shitting me. No. Oh my god. Guess where from? Uh. It won't be where you think. I'm trying to think which what it could be. The reeds. The reeds. My my spot over there. I've been climbing all week. That's not good, Joe. 
for this little cat. Hey. It's here. It's a small pissy shack. Yes, a little pissy shack. No, it's, it's half seven, mate. It's more than I had mine last yesterday. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, mate. Nice. Thirty pounds, six ounces. Thirty pounds, six ounces. With that, with the net. Oh, the net, yeah. We'll do that afterwards. So we reckon this is about twenty-five pounds, in that way. Something like that. Big old tail on it. Oh well, it's not a cart, but it'll count, don't they? It does indeed. You smelly old things. Cool. Off you go, little shitty shot. He's gone. He's gone. Morning campers, Heidi hi. Morning. Lost a huge one last night. Um, I couldn't rouse my partner. Apparently he didn't hear the alarm. But uh, yeah. Took well, you me do you have your alarms on silent mate? 45 minutes playing it and I lost it in a lump of weed out in front. But, uh, you feel like yeah. a big one then? Uh, yeah, so I reckon it might have been a hundred. Who knows, you never know. Take it from over Which there. Which was that? The one over there on, yeah. on the reeds over there? Yeah. So you actually saw it in the margin then? Yeah, got it got it to here to net it. Just down here. And uh, it decided to swim off again. <coughs> Last knockings Friday. 11 o'clock in the morning. Day before we go home. And we're going to go and move for a night. We're going to go around the other end of the lake, some guys have just driven home. So that's where all the fish are, so we're going to go around there for 12 hours. Both We've got an umbrella, we've both got chairs, we'll sit underneath that all night and see if we can't winkle one out. Here he comes, he's so bored he's not caught a fish, he's only gone and nicked a bloody van. Long-distance Clara drives a juggernaut Hello my way good man, can you tell me where the fish are and can you take me there? Of course I can Fourth wind, right Clara, let's do it Always on the road, picking up and dropping off Yeah you do all that, I'll film, I'll film it, that's fine, I'm happy with that no, so don't break it, we haven't finished playing for it yet. He said what? Should don't break it, so we haven't finished playing for it yet. I said, what, you paid for that, did you? <laughs> oh, here we are, stock two. Stock two. Oh, that's the stock one. Stock one. Stock two. 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 Stock at her journey's end, long distance Clara coming down the street, always on time. She's never late. Long distance Clara, long distance Clara. Well, she could drive across the Sahara, old pole east to west. Nothing's too far away. Shouldn't 
Looks like a refugee camp at Dieppe here. Yeah? Mark's having two rods and I've got one and then if Mark catches one then I get to use two rods and we'll be doing that I think until we go home tonight. You put two out, both mine are screwed up. Ivy wafter. Ivy wafter? The whole one, it doesn't waft. I want the one that's been soaking so it's not neutrally buoyant anymore. Yeah. Well that's not bad then, an hour we've moving and we've already got one. Do me a favour, yeah? Yeah. I'm going around doing the pictures. I'll go up and do these up here and then I'll reverse back. Just, when you net it, just leave it in the net, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Have you got some other pictures for me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back in two minutes then. Okay. <laughs> just bring all the way in, mate. How easy it is. You know what they say? Five minutes in the right place is better than five days in the wrong swim. There you go. Proof in the pudding. A nice common. Probably about 30, 35 pound. Let's get her out of my I think that's bigger we? than you think, mate. 37, 10. 37, 10. Minus the net. It's worth the move if you don't have another one. Oh, away you go. Nice. Well done, mate. Into another one. Good bliss, mate. Bloody hell, man. This is a good run as well, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? That's what it's all about, mate. Let's get this back up. Oh. Sorry, mate. He's gone. Now then, fella. Last night, we're going to be under the stars tonight, under the umbrella. Let's just hope there are some stars and not rain. Chances are it's going to piss down tonight and we're going to get wet, but I don't care. I just want one more cup tonight. One more. It's not a lot to ask, is it? And you, you're going to go for three more. For me magic ten To try fish. and get your ten. I'm quite happy for my fifty, for Neil to buy me a nice Dream Lakes hoodie. Hey, how's that working? That's what you've been Champagne, saying. Champagne, mate. You? you said if you if I catch a fifty, you're going to buy me a hoodie. Oh, did I? Yeah. So what are your thoughts about the week? A bit mixed at the moment. I mean, I've enjoyed the week, but it's been really hard. There just hasn't been any fish in front of us, have we? No. You know, and we've come round here, and literally in two hours you've had two fish, haven't you? Yeah. So it's if they're out there, I think we've been angling okay. It's just there's not been any fish out there. No, it has been difficult. Um, I, I don't think I would fish this lake again, though, if I'm honest about it. No. It's, it's not for me. This horseshoe shape when they get all pushed up one end. Be fine if you were up your end. I think we could have had a few fish, but yeah. I'm glad we've done it. Just to say we fished one. Yeah, we can say we've done it now, haven't we? You know, four's the only one we haven't done yet on the complex, but but I'm looking forward to two next now year. Now we've seen all those fish down there. I mean, there's absolutely mental. So many fish in there that you could walk across the lake and use them as bloody stepping stones, couldn't you? Sometimes. Yes, definitely. But they move around. That's the thing. They do keep moving. In here, they just all wedged up here. They have come. I mean, the guy in Sunset, whatever, had a 47 and a 49 or whatever. Yeah. They sort of almost like they've come out, had something to do it, and then gone back in again. Yeah, that's true. But never mind. Well, I'm not reeling in until I have one. So if, if so I don't get one by dinner time, you I'm still can be here next year then. Yeah. So hopefully when you come back from dinner, I'll have one in the, in the net for you to come and take a photo of. Nice. Let's hope so. Yep. My lord! Miracle! 
He's had a fish. Well, oh, he's got a fish. He hasn't had it yet. Took your time, mate. Bit of relief. Oh, don't say that, mate. I haven't got a ring yet. Yeah, you'll be all right. Oh, excuse me. Bit uncouth, isn't it? What do you expect? No more, no less. Pounds. Yeah, that's a 30 all day long. Yeah, so Neil's little double is probably nearly a 30. It's alright, isn't it? Happy with that, mate. Do you think so? Look, there is one happy man at last. He's smiling. Because of what's in there. Nice. That's what we come to France for. It wasn't even halfway out. Nice though. Nice mirror. Got a bit of a scab on the other side, but this is best side. Yes. Right. So, mate. Hand. Go on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> WWF Worldwide yeah. Fishing Wrestling. Oh, I love it. Cool. Smile then, mate. It's a nice fishy. I'll try and hide it up so we don't get the unhooking mat in the way. That's better. Off to fish, swim the fishes. Oh. Wait to get away. Bye then, Fishy. What do you reckon of that then? <sighs> he might smile now. It's taken all half past week. 10. Saturday, and I get one. Seven o'clock, Friday. Just about to go home, so well happy with that. Brilliant. How big was it? 28 and a half pounds. Nice. Nice. Well done. He's only in again. He's only in again, the boy's only in again. I was quite happy with that cast as well. Look at that bend in the rod. Cast right over there somewhere, up against the edge. Oof. Jesus. Well, I'll try and get it in this side, mate. Now this could be a good fish. Because Neil does like to play them a lot. It might not be a big fish. I've got through that weed yet. <sighs> Come around here a bit more, mate. You'll be all right, mate. Could be your 30, mate. He's got it. I'll tell it's a 30. Please tell me it's gone. Oh got... no mate, 28 pound. 28. No. So you got me a 30. I'll give you 30 tea for that. Cheers fella. Okay, happy with 30? Yes. Well done. Well done mate. Here we go. How many pound, what was it, 32, 32 on the nose mate, on wasn't it? Nose. Nice. Come here, wanted a 30. Let's have a look. Didn't think it was going to happen. £32 on the nose. What a beautiful looking fish. Not such a beautiful looking bloke. <laughs> well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Stick her back then, boy. Nice. <laughs> Lovely. Well done, mate. He's, right. He's only got that lucky Volbeat t shirt on again. <laughs> on, 10 o'clock last night. Massive full moon tonight. 
Up there. Another 51 weeks and we'll be back out again. Nice. Yay. Can't wait. <laughs> 